Perhaps nothing screws with your mind more than whipping a supercar around the bend of a racetrack and aiming not for the next apex but at the dirt track running perpendicular to the course and leading off into the infield. One moment you're listening for the telltale signs of rubber breaking away from asphalt, tires at the limit of adhesion, the next, there is no such sound, only the V10 singing behind you as you sling sideways into a sandy curve. Welcome to the 2023 Lamborghini Huracan Stirato, perhaps the most brain-bending supercar ever built. Birthed over dinner, and no doubt drinks, at the tail end of the Lamborghini Urus development. The new Huracan Stirato is what happens when supercar engineers are allowed to stop chasing numbers and instead focus on fun. A sort of 21st century reinterpretation of a Group B rally car, the Huracan Stirato marries the littlest Lambos inherent on road goodness with off road hardware designed to help its drivers explore dirt trails and desert washes at serious speed. The key to this is unsurprisingly found lurking behind and beneath the 2023 Lamborghini Huracan Stirato's engorged and textured fender arches. Ride height is bumped up by 1.7 inches over the 2020 Motor Trend Best Driver's Car winning Huracan Evo, upon which it's based, to 6.4 inches. The car's Magna Ride dampers are also reworked for more wheel travel and retuned to handle the off-roaders' potentially different loads. For example, softening up the nose under heavy braking in the Stirato's unique rally drive mode allows quicker turn-in. Backing up the suspension changes is a unique set of Bridgestone rubber. The Dueler Alterain AT002 run flat tires, fit on downsized 19-inch wheels, the smallest size that will clear the Huracan's brakes, are designed to provide high-speed grip in dirt, gravel, and mud while not entirely sacrificing the Lamborghini's on-road performance. Rounding out the package is a mid-mounted 5.2-liter V10, detuned to 602 horsepower from 630 because Lamborghini had to seal off the Huracan's side-mounted air intakes to avoid dirt and dust ingestion, replacing them with a single roof-mounted scoop. Torque remains flat at 413 pounds to foot, with power routed through a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox into an all-wheel drive system backed up by a mechanical rear-limited slip differential. Full-length aluminum underbody skid plates, rally lights, roof rails, and some extra body cladding complete the look. Minor nips and tucks to the bumpers and rockers give the Huracan Storado an approach, breakover, and departure angle of 10.4-14.7-26.5 degrees, respectively. On paper this combo seems like a cynical attempt to milk some extra life out of the Huracan as Lamborghini readies its replacement. In practice it may just be among the most light-hearted and fun Lambos ever built. To prove it, Lamborghini invited us to Chuckwalla Raceway, located smack dab in the middle of California's Coachella Valley. The 17-turn course stretches for roughly 2.5 miles, twisting through desert scrub and hills, with a distinctive Nordsklife-like 10-degree bowl on its back half. At least that's normally how it goes. But instead of diving for the late left-hand hairpin in turns 4 and 5, Lamborghini sent us straight into the infield, where a 1.25-mile dirt course that largely mimicked the twists and turns of the proper circuit awaited us. Each lap would be a rallycross-style 50-50 mix of asphalt and sand. Excellent! Exiting pit lane onto the first straight, I toggled the Huracan Storado into sport mode, planted the throttle, grabbed the next gear with the meaty column-mounted carbon fiber shift paddle, and listened to the V10's song fight with my poor passenger's voice as he shouted instructions to me in Italian-accented English. I tried to tune it out, attempting to suss out the tires and brakes limits as the G-load pinned us into our seats for the first corners. Don't brake, you're going too slow, he said as we approached the fourth corner. Aim for the cone, rally mode, off the track, second gear, go. I thumbed the Storato into rally, downshifted into second, and braced for impact as we left the track into a sweeping left-hander in soft sand. There was none. Instead, the Huracan transitioned seamlessly from pavement to sand as I attempted to mentally switch gears from staying planted on my line on the road to sliding sideways off it. Before I knew it, we were back on pavement, rounding the bowl, lining up for the next lap. Then it all clicked. While it's no pre-running pickup, a hint of such greatness occurred in the 2023 Lamborghini Huracan Storato as we navigated the infield section of the course in rally mode. Speaking as someone who's spun at Huracan RWD before, the Storato is infinitely chuckable off-road. Give it a little Scandinavian flick as you enter a corner and start feeding in throttle and counter-steer, and the Storato's all-wheel drive system and completely transparent stability control tuning help you hold drifts effortlessly, keeping the nose pointed at an apex and ultimately toward the next straight. This Huracan also likes being steered by throttle input, downshift and come off the gas as you approach a sandy downhill sweeper, for instance, and you can start your turn with throttle input, maintaining your slip angle simply by flexing your right foot as the responsive V10 sings behind you. 
Despite the relatively minor changes Lamborghini made to the Huracan Storato suspension, it did a fantastic job of keeping the grippy bridge stones in contact with the rutted terrain and making impacts one and done affairs. Despite its off-road cred, the Huracan Storato didn't give up much on the track's paved portion, either. On straightaways, your brain is tricked into driving it hard like any other supercar, though the first time you attempt to brake late from triple-digit speeds you are surprised by the feel of the all-terrain squirming underneath you. Similarly, despite the quick, communicative steering, the Storato doesn't corner in the same neutral way as other Huracans. It instead reminds me a bit of the old Ford RS200 Evo, leaning subtly onto the outside tires as you carve into the corner, though the Lamborghini is capable of exploding out of bends in ways Group B cars like the Ford were never capable of. Outside the racetrack's confines, the Huracan Storato makes even more sense than the stock car, already among the most comfortable supercars to live with. Extra cushion from the tire sidewall and the added ride height mean you don't have to constantly dodge potholes and dips in the road, so you can focus instead on enjoying the drive. Visibility, never a Lamborghini strong suit, is improved slightly by the additional ride height, and cabin noise levels remain impressively quiet, even with a touch more noise from the wind whipping around the auxiliary lights and roof rails and from the tires. Complaining about noise in a Lamborghini is a bit silly, though, simply turn up the stereo or mat the gas and instead enjoy the V10's exotic yowl as it spins north of 4000 revolutions per minute. Ultimately, what's clearest about the new 2023 Lamborghini Huracan Storato is that the Italian automaker's engineers were allowed for a moment to forget about chasing straight up performance, and they instead focused on fun. Not a single Lamborghini engineer, or indeed a person that's driven the Storato, can talk about it without breaking into a smile. It's silly, slightly stupid, and sort of pointlessly perfect. Lamborghini's engineering team has fallen so in love with the car, limited to 1,499 examples worldwide, that it's taken to bringing one along to every single development drive it does as a new baseline for fun. Couple that playfulness with the Huracan Storato's natural underlying capability, and you have a car that's bound to go down as one of Lamborghini's greats. We have come to the end of the video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel to help us.